Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all the titles that I picked up for the month of December, so stick around. So today I wanted to go over all the titles that I picked up during the month of December. We did have a lot of great new releases. Um, the month started out very busy um, with a lot of releases and then it kind of tapered down throughout the month. So first up I'll go about, um, I'm going to go week by week. Um, the first week I, I picked up um, the collector's edition of Black Christmas on 4K. I do enjoy this film so I'm very happy to have this one in the collection. Um, I got Creep Show Season 2 or Season 3 which I really love the slipcover on this one. I got the still book for Mad God, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet. I also got the still book for The Warriors. I need to check that one out also. And then we had the release for Clerks 3 with this Blu-ray slip. And I also got the Best Buy exclusive still book edition, which I really love the artwork on that. Um, also, we picked up um, Pulp Fiction on 4K with this beautiful looking slipcover. And I also got the Steelbook Edition, which I love that Steelbook. And then I also picked up RIPD on 4K with this really nice slip. And I also got the Steelbook Edition from Zavi UK, which I'm very happy to have in the collection. Um, some other 4K releases I got, I did get um, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things with the slip. This is a 4K release. Adaptation on 4K with a slip. Ip Man 3 with a slip. Amsterdam 4K with a slip cover. I did watch this one during the month. Wasn't a big fan. It was really a little bit too long and it had some really great actors, but I just didn't enjoy the story. I did get the 48 Hours um, 4K release with this beautiful looking slip cover. Um, I also got another 48 Hours. And I decided to get the double pack two movie collection because I do like the um, two movie collection editions and the three movie collection editions. I got King Kong on 4K with this beautiful looking slipcover um, from Zavi UK. I'm still waiting on my still book. Hopefully it'll come soon. Um, I got um, this film here on 4K from Zavi UK. Um, I got Old Boy here with a slipcover from Umbrella. I got Ghost Stories for Christmas Volume 1. Um, this right here is a UK release. Region B Locked. From Eureka, I got The Cat and the Canary and the Ghost Breakers. I also got this one from Eureka. Um, Dr. Caligari. And during week one, I got the Frighteners 4K box edition. I really do like this one. Um, very nice to have this one on 4K. Beautiful looking box set. So very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, the second week, I did get Paranorman on 4K with this really nice looking slip cover and a beautiful looking steelbook edition. Also, I got Coraline with a slip. And another beautiful looking steelbook release. I got Highlander on 4K with a great looking steelbook with a slip. I also got Carrie on 4K with this beautiful looking slip cover and an amazing steelbook to go along with it. Uh, from the UK, I got Empire of the Sun on Blu ray steelbook. I also got Tangerine from Second Sight. I got um, Silent Running from Zavi UK. This is an Arrow release with a 4K and a still book. I got um, Girl on a Motorcycle from Kino Lorber with a slip. I got the um, Bestron Video Silent Night Daily Night Collection with parts 3, 4, and 5, which I did not get a chance to check out. I got American Murderer with a slip, Slashback with a slip, Blood and Diamonds. Um, this right here was an 88 films release with a slip cover. I also got Life Mark, uh, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Old Friends, a documentary about dogs, and also Can't Be Stopped. Okay, during the third week, it was a very light week. 
I got the Taken of Pelham 123 4K edition with a slipcover. I also got Magret Season 1. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this is a Kino Lorber release. And I decided to pick up The Loneliest Boy in the World. Um, it seemed like it had a pretty good synopsis, so I want to check that one out. And probably one of my favorite films of the year, I got The Banshees of Inishirin, or however you say that. Great movie. I did watch this one. I loved it. If you haven't seen this one, definitely check it out. And then during the last week, I picked up um, Twilight. So here is a Blu-ray release from Kino Lorber with a slipcover. I also got Nobody's Fool 4K release with a slip. I got the Walmart exclusive Terrifier 2 still book. I did watch Terrifier and Terrifier 2 during the month of December. I loved both of them. They're very violent, gory. Um, so if you haven't checked these films out, definitely check them out. I got the Best Buy exclusive 4K with a slip. I got the Collector's Edition with a slip. I also got Halloween Ends 4K with that really nice slipcover. I got the Walmart exclusive with a slipcover. And I also got the Best Buy um, Collector's Edition for, um, the exclusive still, for the exclusive still book. And then lastly, I got Hot Fuzz 4K still book release from Zavi UK. So those are all the pickups that I did during the month of December. It was some really great titles released. So I'm very happy that I was able to get all of these. I know there was a few titles that I skipped out on um, just because I didn't want to spend as much money as I typically do with the holidays being around the corner plus car repairs and all these other things going on. But those are the pickups during the month of December. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the items that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you were able to pick up or some of the titles that you received as Christmas gifts during the month of December. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram. TikTok and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.